You make it up for me to sleep I know nothing's gonna make you fall out of love But this is where you should be When I'm all alone Thinking for myself I always wonder, wonder why I always wonder, wonder why Wonder, wonder why Wonder, 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 wonder why Think about it Welcome to today's video. Today is one of those makeup videos where I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to wing it and go with the flow. All I know is I want to play around in my Juvia's Place palette. So we're just going to start from there. I already have my brows done of course. And before I get started, I'm feeling like I want to do a ponytail today. And this hair is from Eunice Hair. I made this frontal wig myself and I absolutely love this hair. I forgot the um, hair details like what type of hair it is and how long. So that will be left in the description box. But as you can see this hair is really good. Um, I did a video saying that I hated working with frontals and I'll probably never work with a frontal again. It turns out that this frontal has changed my opinion on frontals forever. I had a really good time working with this frontal. It was super easy. So I guess it just depends on like the type of hair, um, what type of frontal you have, the quality of the frontal. So I actually had a good time with this one. It looks pretty natural. I mean, I'm not the best person when it comes to like frontals and stuff like that. But I think it looks pretty darn decent if I can say so myself. Feeling like doing a ponytail. So I already have like most of the baby hairs laid. You're not going to be able to see the ones back here, so I just didn't do that. Um, I have nothing holding down this wig, not even any got to be glue because it fits so perfectly on my head. So I was super happy about that. So I didn't have to make like an adjustable strap or anything like that. Or I really don't have to glue it down. Like the baby hairs, when I lay down the baby hairs, that's good enough to make sure that it's secure because this wig is super tight. <laughs> going to get into the eyes and I'm going to be going in with my Juvia's Place palette and this is the Masquerade mini palette. I already put concealer on my eyes and I'm just going to set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder. The first shade that I'm going to take is Zulu and that's going to be my transition. Now I'm going to take Fulani and put that on the outer corners of my eyes. Like I said, I'm just playing around with different eyeshadows. Um, I dipped into my Morphe 35B palette and I'm really feeling this red look. So I think I'm just going to go for that monochromatic look that everybody has been doing lately. So I'm just taking this red eyeshadow on my lid and blending it out. Come on over, reading if I'm asleep. Wake me up in my dreams. 
and I feel like this is like a no liner type of look so I'm just gonna put on my lashes and the lashes that I'm gonna be using today are from Be Bella Cosmetics and they're the mink lashes in the style Ravel. So now I have my lashes on I'm just gonna prime my face with the NYX Angel Veil Primer Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Today we're going to be seeing what all the hype is about with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I got the shade Tan 50, so hopefully it's my color. We're going to see how this works out for me. I like the way this feels. It's really cute. And I love a good wand concealer. So we're just going to put it on like I would normally do and see how it works out. Wow, I am already shook. Just like everyone is saying on these reviews I have been seeing, I am shook. This blends like magic. Do you guys see that? Like how easily it blended out? And it's just so smooth and perfect. Like, I'm shook. I haven't even set this yet, but this is officially like a new favorite of mine. This is going in my favorites collection, for sure. I'm just going to set that with the Sasha Buttercup Powder, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I'm just going to finish my eyes and I'm taking the same red and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line and then I'm just going to put some mascara. Contour with my NYX contour palette. I'm using my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer as a blush today. I'm using these two highlighters to highlight. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow, and this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter.
Laken Chestnut Lip Liner in NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline, and I'm using that for my lips today. to that sort of want to nude your lips so I'm adding this NYX soft matte lip cream and this is the shade London finally I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay D slick makeup setting spray and this one is for oil control yeah, yeah. Well, this is the final look I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat. And I will see you guys in my next video. Really